Good morning, guys. Today, uh, we are talking about monthly spreads in my bullet journal. This is a channel where you can have a lot of content about art, wellness, and bullet journaling. Today, like I said, we are working on my August spreads in my bullet journal. It's my everyday carry, my catch-all, my wellness, my everything. I'm using today the sticky books from Plenty Thin. I'm going to link them below. They're amazing, and they have this seasonal sticker book when I am going to be using the the summer section because, of course, summer. I don't follow a theme on my on my bullet journal, but I do like to decorate with the season. So I'm doing summery, beachy vibes here, and Planet Theme happened to have this amazing sticker book uh, with beach uh, stickers on it. I'm using the Calliographs from Archer and Olive. I love them because they have double tip, the bigger one and the smaller one that you can do big letters and small letters. They are very pigmented and they blend beautifully if you blend them when they are wet. But they are very nice. They are my favorite. I love them even more than a Calliographs pens. Um, Sorry, I kilograms lovers, but I prefer the calligraphs. Those are my favorite. I love them. I have to buy more because um, a couple of them dried already. I use them all the time. So I'm doing an ombre effect um, here. I do ombre a, different, a little different from the rest of the people. I don't do bottom, bottom dark. I, If I do bottom in one letter, I do top on the next um like to, to make it like seem like the ombre is um is kind of behind the letter or something like that um i like that like that it's different <laughs> so uh yeah i was trying to blend it with a uh, lighter color of the key of the uh, uh, calligraph but it was already dry so i took this um my liner that is a medium color in between those two pinks to make the effect and that did the trick to blend it a little bit more and make the um, ombre effect shadow effect a little bit seamless and i kind of like that it did the trick it really did um yes so now with the uh, ombre effect done i'm gonna go again uh, ahead with this pantel sign pen in black to uh, highlight the bottom and right of each letter to kind of make a shadow effect i'm gonna do multiple shadow effect within the same lettering you're gonna see what i'm talking about in a second but i am going ahead to highlight every every bottom and right and fixing any mistakes that i find along the way and and try to make it even in the best of my ability i don't do these spreads pencil first the only pencil first spreads that i do is when i am sketching an illustration that i go ahead and do them in pencil first but when i'm doing lettering and, and all the spreads like bullet journal spreads i go straight with the pen and then i have to deal with all the mistake i make but that's how i choose like i choose to make it harder for myself so that's how life is I'm trying to match, um, to include the color of the beach in the lettering. So I went ahead with this my liner in aqua. It's like a dark aqua color, teal color, I think it is. And to kind of um, include the the color of the beach of the stickers that I'm going to be putting in the, in the spread. And then I'm going to defuminate or blend a little bit that color with a light gray my liner. But I love that my liner is that they blend beautifully. I love to blend with them. So yeah, it's kind of like the, to make the color disappear a little bit and just have that blue show through. Uh, once you put the stickers, it shows that there's like a hint of blue in the letter and make the whole spread cohesive. And... Um, and I love that. I didn't even know if those colors match together or not. To be quite honest, I wasn't following any color theory. I just went ahead with the colors that speak to my soul. Every time I, ta I think of summer, I always think of these bright contrasting colors and, 
and I love them. I put them together and it, and it worked. That's the, that was the exact effect that I was looking for and I loved it. So after the letter was done, I went ahead and put the stickers that I wanted just here and there sporadically to kind of fill the space that I have just to have something. Um, to me, uh, this cover is the center of the cover is the, is the, is the lettering. So I'm just going to put just stickers like here and there to fill up the space. And in the left page, I am not going to leave, I am not going to leave it blank. What I've been doing lately and it's been working amazingly for me is to include goals in my, in my spread. Make me go to that page every day make me see my goals every day and make me enjoy the cover every day <laughs> because sometimes if i don't put anything there I, or if i put like a quote i just tend to skip the quote and the cover and go straight to business with the calendar and all of that and don't enjoy my cover as much as i should but now i've been including my goals i'll be mindfully and willingly to go into that page to see if i'm on top of my goals to see if I'm really making things happen and uh, and it's been working really well for me I made a mistake you're gonna see now I started with July every time I'm starting a new month I always have the old month in my head and always always make this mistake but I fixed it I went with a tape runner and erased it and put a sticker on top and that was good to go I it's so easy to fix mistakes with stickers that's why I love them so much even though I know how to letter it I know how to draw sometimes those things are very time consuming and I want things fast and easy and quick because when it comes to bullet journaling if you do them for productivity I'm doing this bullet journal is for productivity for goals and for wellness and I need to focus on that and if I take too much time Drawing everything from scratch, creating something that is very complicated is and hard for me to to make. Then I am gonna be hating the process and not willing to use my bullet journal as much. So I like pretty. I find a way to get my pretty easy, and that's why I use stickers. So yeah, I am very fast with lettering. So I typically don't. I typically don't. Uh, use a sticker for letters because I like the way I do them myself and I'm fast with them and you know it's easy so this is how my coverage and my goals ended up I put some other stickers here and there in the page to kind of fill them up and and then I'm gonna write my own goals um not on camera because those things are private but I just wanted to see well you're gonna see that after the pen flew through anyway so but the I didn't fill them up the here because it was too time consuming and this video is already very long so now I'm doing uh, my calendar this part mm -hmm. of my calendar is my home management and housekeeping calendar so I'm taking track of my husband's schedule my daughter's schedule and the house schedule with chores and all that stuff so I'm using the list method that writer Carol teaches in his um, bullet journal the creator of the bullet journal but he does the numbers in the far left of the page and I do them in the middle the way the reason why I do them in the middle is because automatically divide your paper your spread into categories and that's what I'm looking for so I'm making categories here for each member of my family for my house and for my chores I love this method of calendar because very clearly you can see the entire schedule the entire schedule of a person of yourself of a or an area of your life alone and if you see the day horizontally you're gonna see on that particular day everything that is going on in all areas of your life so you see the areas of your life together and separate at the same times and I love to do the my calendar that way I'm on top of everything this way because if I want to see somebody's schedule alone and the whole month alone, I know how to do it. I, I can see them vertically and and, and if I want to see everything, if, if I'm filling up my weekly schedule to see everything that's happening on a day, I just look horizontally and put everything in. So I'm dividing the week, the weekends here. I highlight the weekend so I can visually divide my weeks and the months 
but you can see the far right i do them vertically because vertically because that's my habits in this case my daily chores the left page is my members of my family schedule and the right page is my home schedule so i have the events and projects in one column and the rest is my habits which in this case are my daily chores so i can just check them off if i do them daily like a habit tracker in this type of layout you can do it for yourself and you can do your own events if you don't have much going on in your family or you don't have much going on in your everyday life you can use uh, this method to list your events and then your habits on the right or if you use it for social media you can put the schedule of your videos and then the habits one you can check them off if you film this schedule it, edit it and all that stuff you i mean that that spread can be useful for many 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 people i'm dividing this column even further i after the the video was done i divided my home one even further like that like i'm doing now but i didn't do it in the video here what i did i'm doing is my daughter's my daughter is a micro premature kid my baby she was micro premature when she was born so she had a lot of conditions and sickness and stuff that she i have to keep up with um and be on top of so i divided her column even further and in personal and school obviously i need to have a school schedule and in the personal side i uh, log a uh, her sickness symptoms and all that as it as they happen if they happen if that way in the month i know if, if she gets sick when and how she gets sick and all of that i write it down there so i have a track uh that is actually chronologically because it goes with the days uh of all of her symptoms of all of her um, sickness if she has any and all of that so i can track them there um and it's very it's being very helpful to backtrack and if i go to the doctor for something i can go ahead and take my planner and say exactly when something started because chronologically i can go ahead and, and see the spread there and say hey this day that's when this started and i can see it with my whole calendar so it's everything in one place if you ever have to track a chronic condition for yourself or for another for or for a family member something like this will be helpful for you because in one side you can have your everyday life your schedules appointments and everything that you have to be doing and in another you can log what actually happened that day that you know if any symptom appeared or not and it also can be a memory keeping log where you can track what happened that day if you want to record that memory you you can really use the kind of spread for many things the ideas are and opportunities are endless when it comes to the type of spread that is why i love to do that so much and i decided for the spread to be my home management and housekeeping spread can be tricky many things uh, you can do any categories you want you can do any habits you want you can track anything with this spread and i love it so I'm going to be doing something similar for my own self and later in the video. Right now, I'm going to do the brain dump to-do list uh, for the for my house management. And I went ahead and decorated the top of the page with the same sticker book. Uh, all the sticker books, all the stickers I use in this video are from the same sticker book. I only use one sticker book for everything. <coughs> Sorry. I divided the columns in three. One is for my home, one is for my daughter, and other, all the category, anything that falls in, uh, that I have to do uh, for the house that not necessarily belongs to my daughter or for the house, anything in between. If I'm doing something for somebody else or in the family, outside of the family I, or anything, uh, I have to put it there. And I don't have to keep track of anything my husband. The only thing I have my husband in the main calendar is just his schedule to coordinate his schedule with mine. Because we are a team. But other than that, um, I don't track anything from him. And I just need to focus on the house and my daughter. And it is be working perfectly for us. I'm cutting the weeks here. What I'm doing, I'm doing that because I'm doing an Alistair method style for my weekly chores. I track my daily chores and my calendar. Makes sense for me to do it there. 
but I I have so many chores that are weekly and some others that I do monthly. And that's what I'm doing in this side of the page. It's my adulting page, if you want to put it. I used to put my bill trackers here, but my bills are the same every month. So I, for me, it was like, nah, I don't need to, I, don't, I really don't need to track them. And on top of that, I pay them the same day. So I really don't. <laughs> I, I, I do this I do this spread just to do them but I, I have a monthly bill tracker in my a commonplace planner I don't need to track them every month here so I went ahead and did my weekly and chores and now I'm using the stickers to divide that in two columns the top one is gonna be my monthly chores or activities that I have to do once a month and the bottom one is any projects, big projects in the house that we are doing that particular month or or in the building in that they are doing any particular projects that we need to be on top of. Also, it goes there. And it's been very helpful to have that. And the rest of the spread is that empty space. I'm going to do it for notes. I'm going to do um, um, the screen markers to kind of tie in the to-do Learning I did in the other page. I'm trying to use the same. I'm trying to use the same, um, the same colors to tie everything in into one cohesive spread that looks good. And any any reminders that I need to do for the family for the house that doesn't necessarily fall in a category or a week, I do there. And it's like a, like a mini brain dump. I really don't need a a big page for brain dump. That little space is more than enough for me. So now I moved ahead and started doing my personal calendar. I started the same way. I started putting the numbers in the middle of the page. This is an A5 journal uh, from Archon and Olive. I'm gonna tie, I'm gonna link them below. I already memorized the uh, how many dots I need uh, to make to follow it in the middle of the page. So uh, the page that everybody do in the beginning of the, their journal, so do the, the, the grid spacing, all of that. I mean, I do them if just to do them. But by now, I, I don't even follow that. I do what I feel like. See, if, if he falls in the middle, falls in the middle. If he does, he doesn't. But by now, I memorize the, I count the dots anyway. I memorize it anyway. So, you know, um, I, I don't know. I just do what I feel like. So... The left side of my is my work life. The right side is my personal. And if you notice that I divided it, divided them even further, is because my work life is over daily job and my social media. And in my personal one is my personal events. And the last column is my weekly focus, which I, I call it like that. But what it is is the I'm going to write a list of things that I want to focus in that particular week from the list of my goals that I did at the beginning of the spread. I have personal goals in different areas of my life. My energy level is not the same through the entire month because of my cycle. I have PCOS, so my cycle is all over the place. I need to be strategic when to allocate or or schedule a task or a goal that I want to achieve or work on if I want to be successful. I need to be mindful also of my own events and my house, my family events to see how busy I am to do them. So that's why I need them to be uh, separate and together with my with my calendar so I can see how busy I am and how and how my energy level is so I can do them. And it's been working really nice. I'm being on top of my game lately because of that. So yeah, that's what I do. Them, I, I, my goal schedule. This is um, this is when I'm gonna write them a short list of things that I want to accomplish that day in any area of my life. And uh, like this week, I'm gonna focus on my personal health. This is what I'm gonna do. And the other week, I'm gonna focus on my spiritual goals. And today, I'm gonna be focusing on this. I mean, for me, it works. So now in the um. In the right page, I am doing my content planner. This is a new thing for me. Um, I'm not new to the other platforms, but I am new to YouTube. And I am trying my best to be consistent because my problem in the past is not is consistency. And I need to be consistent. So this spread, I know I am aware that it's hard to read. I'm going to write... Uh, somewhere in the page so in the in the, in the screen um what exactly it is but it is video 
one to nine or one to eight because that's the amount of videos i'm planning to post like long videos and the day they're supposed to go live and the other ones that are smaller it's like edited uh, film edit thumbnail and then published so that's what it is and so the, i can see how far in the process one video is because the majority of the time i filmed and i take a day and filmed as many videos as i can because um, the availability uh, availability i hope i'm doing saying the words that word right my english is not my first language if you don't understand what i'm what i'm saying please comment below i am aware of that sorry and I apologies for that um but that uh what i'm trying to say that my time is very precious and small and that i don't have that time every day to do that i'm busy i work full time and on top of that i'm a mom so time is precious and a quiet home is also almost impossible for me if it's not my daughter making noises is my husband or the people that decide to push, to build something in front of my house at the exact same time i'm filming so yeah uh i tried for those reasons i batch my filming and i film a lot in, in one day and that's how i do it so then I edit them and schedule them and publish them as the calendar says. Uh, the bottom left is my short reels and, and TikToks that I'm trying to to put through the months, like ideas. And then the stats that I'm following the followers of each platform. I never did that before. I never followed how much I did, uh, how much I've, I've grown in a specific platform but i'm trying one of my goals is to take social media more seriously and for that i need to be mindful of the analytics of the videos and also the followers the followers that i have on each platform to see uh, the growth that i'm making if they like some what i'm doing and all of that um this is a running to-do list for myself it's more i have tend to do more for my family than for myself um that's how mom life is and it's a very short section for notes. This is my brain dumping section right here, super small. And the space that I have left is just for decorations. I always do functionality first. Uh, my goal in this particular bullet journal is productivity. And I like stuff organized and pretty, but I rather them being functional. So I decorate around the space that I have available at the end when all my function is already set in stone I I, I need my functionality in my planner and and so I, I tend to go for stickers that are small or stickers that I can cut in half and place them how I feel like and kind of have a theme going on without intention so that's how my spread went this is how a little flip through in, uh, after I was done. I apologize that it's not completely in frame. I realized that after after I'm editing and I already filled this stuff up so I cannot refilm it. <laughs> so yeah, that's how my monthly spread is. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment in this video. And next is going to be my wellness next week. See?